Hi everyone, I'm Kathy Bertilli from TheIntimacyDojo.com and this is Reed Malka from ReadAboutSex.com What are we talking about today? We're talking about arousal and dealing with it. <laughs> and a lot of us are afraid of arousal because we're not sure how to deal with it. Um, I know when I've felt it in the past, there's been times when it's not been appropriate. You mean like now? <laughs> You're such a goofball. Oh. <laughs> um, it sometimes is embarrassing. Like you're feeling arousal and it's like um, a lot of us haven't, if we haven't had a lot of touch or we haven't had outlets for it, it feels like, oh my God, I've got to have that or I'm going to die. Um, and we start being ashamed or uncomfortable around our own feelings and our own yeah. body. It can be complex. Um, so my, my advice, um, for those of you who want to geek out on this is it's, it's first off, it's about enjoying the arousal, yes. which is mixed messaging because you're not supposed to enjoy it depending on the household you grew up in. Right. Yes. So starting to try to enjoy your arousal is dangerous one because it's going to bring on this wave of shame. Mm -hmm. And two, a lot of us were taught as kids not to be aroused because we cannot control ourselves. Yes. Like once you get the dog humping your leg, the dog's not going to start <laughs> humping your leg. So we get worried like, oh shit, if I, if I let myself feel this, this I'm going to burst out of control. Yeah. Um, most of the time, no, you're not going to burst out of control. Even if you've been starving for touch and affection for years, you're not going to go postal and start humping everyone's legs at the post office. It, for most of us, it's not going to happen. What you can do is start really like getting into your body mm -hmm. and enjoying the sensations of being alive and being a sexual creature and take the energy of your enjoyment and bring it in. Yes. Like be like, wow, this feels great. Similar to you crawl into a hot bath or a hot shower and you're like, oh my God, that feels really good. Now arousal is a little bit more like, oh, I want to do something about this. This feels really good. But like enjoy it, get in, get into your body. You can also develop a healthy, um, a healthy fantasy life. Yes. Um, where you can take that arousal, kind of store it, mm -hmm. and get back to work now. And then when you go home, fuck the crap out of yourself. Masturbate, go nuts. Or your partner, if you have. Or your right, partner, yeah. if as long as they're consenting, right? Yes. They'll be like. Honey, are you asleep? Rawr! Um, <laughs> unless they're into that. But the idea of taking, like, embodying your sensation mm -hmm. and making it a good thing. Yes. If shame is coming up because you're starting to own and take, take or because agency, you think you're only supposed to feel it towards your partner and you're feeling it towards someone else, or something else, like, because yeah. this is the thing. There's what's physically a turn on to you, and then there's what's erotically, you know, in your head a turn on. Um, I don't think personally you're cheating on your partner if somebody walks down the street and you're like, damn, don't say it out loud, damn, and then you're like all turned on. Yeah. Just be turned on. Whatever it was about that person or the situation, you know, that got you in your head turned on, enjoy the turn on. That's just an erotic hit. Mm -hmm. Um, it wasn't that you got turned on because you were humping some stranger's leg. <laughs> yeah. That's different. Um, and depending on what your relationship agreements are, humping somebody's leg other than your partner is probably, you know, falls under the cheating category. <laughs> you getting turned on by some situation yeah. um, or something that you saw or watched or even read, that's not cheating. Enjoy your turn on. And that's just my opinion, mm -hmm. right? And this is something you can have conversations with your friends and with your loved ones about like, hey, you know, what is cheating for you? You know, yeah. you're reading an erotic novel, you get turned on, is that cheating? You see a beautiful person on the street and you get turned on, is that cheating? Humping you're, their leg. You, you know, I'm <laughs> humping somebody's leg, is that cheating? Like, you can have fun with this conversation that might be very like, whoa. Yeah. Because if your partner is like, oh, well, Getting turned on by seeing somebody on the street, that's not cheating. Yeah. Then you're like, oh my God, thank you. <laughs> and now you have permission to let that energy course through you, yeah. which is about being alive. And when you first feel that, um, it can. when I first started getting more in touch with my body and feeling arousal, it was really kind of shocking to me and I was like nervous. I was actually getting a massage from someone 
And it was not, it was a massage, not a massage or a massage, if anybody's watched your yeah. body. These are dirty air quotes. <laughs> these are creepy air quotes. Yeah, this is a massage. Just a regular massage, <laughs> yes. legitimate massage, not a massage <laughs> or a massage. But I noticed my body was getting aroused and I was very ashamed. And I was getting really tense, which is the opposite of what my intention was with massage. And then I just started relaxing and letting myself feel what my body was feeling. But I didn't have to act on it. I didn't have to like grab him or you know do anything you know inappropriate. And I went home and masturbated, and it felt great. Mm -hmm. But when I stopped fighting myself and just let myself feel it, it became less this tidal wave and more like this beautiful wave going through my body. Yeah, and energy like that will shift as yes. you as you let yourself if you don't fight have it. it. Yeah. Um, but you need to practice this and then have your own experience. Like I can get turned on and enjoy my turn on. In, in a similar way, and now the video is going very long, but you walk into somebody's kitchen and they're cooking something delicious and now all of a sudden your mouth is watering and your stomach's like, oh yeah. Gotta have that. But we're not shamed. Yes. About walking into people's kitchens and being like, oh my God, what is that? Yeah, I mean, even tell them, that's so amazing. What are you cooking? Yeah. So not that you need to be, you know, like telling people in public, <laughs> Oh my God, they're like, turn me on! But, because people do that too, and that's not appropriate. Yeah. You should cut a whole video about, don't yell out what you're feeling to complete strangers. That's not cool. That's kind of creepy. That, yeah, it's, it's creepy. <laughs> um, but, like, you can enjoy the, um, the reaction that you have and really embrace it and not have to try to shut it down. Right. Because we really were, at least I was taught when I was a kid, and my parents are pretty savvy, mm -hmm. like, don't get too carried away because yes. you're going to lose control. But that was because we were 9 or 14 or 13 and hopped up on, like, fudge sickles <laughs> and sugar, and we had no prefrontal cortex <laughs> development then, so we had no impulse control. You're an adult now. You have some impulse control. You can enjoy your body now. Yeah. You're not going to like go post it. Yeah, so feel your arousal, enjoy it. It's all okay. Comments, leave them below. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>